Hi there, this is Phil Thompson from StreamingChurch.tv going to show you how you can stream to your Facebook page using a live encoder like a vMix or Wirecast. So first thing you want to do is go to Streaming Management from your Streaming Church TV Admin Control Panel. Look under Event Admin, click on the Facebook Stream. Now you really do need to read these instructions here uh, and there are qualifications that you must have regarding your internet, your pop-up lockers, live encoders, resolution, all that stuff. Please read that, and then you can click on Facebook Live Stream Credentials. You'll have a decision to make where you're going to share this live stream on your own timeline or on somebody else's or a page that you manage. I'm going to share it on a page I manage, in this case, greeter.church. Click Next. After you click Next, ignore this box up here. Just ignore it and hit OK. Now you'll get a pop-up here from Facebook, which is uh, how you will be able to get the credentials to stream to the Facebook page. And this is important. Here's your server URL. It's going to be an RTMP. And there's a stream key. So you want to copy and paste. And now you want to put it in your vMix or Wirecast Live Encoder. Here is uh, vMix. I'm going to show you how to do that. So click on the stream button here. Now it's important once this opens up that you use the application that is FM MPEG. That's what you want to use. This will enable you to have multiple streams on vMix. I already have a stream set up to my streamingchurch.tv pre-setting, but I want to add another one so I can do it on Facebook. In addition, click on 2. What's the destination? Well, you click on Custom RTMP, and this is where you paste what we copied earlier, but now we need the stream key, so we need to go back to uh, where the uh, stream key was, if I can find it here, and there it is, stream key. Copy that puppy there, and then from there, you want to go back to your live encoder, which is the vMix, and uh, you will go and paste the actual key there. So make sure your resolutions are correct, like we said. Hit save and close, and then after you do that, I'm going to pull vMix up again here, and I'm going to actually start streaming. So this will start streaming. Whoops, here's what I want to hit right here. This will start streaming on my Streaming Church TV platform. Uh, which I've embedded on my web page, but also I'm going to pull that out of here. It's also going to stream on Facebook, and here you can see that Facebook is trying to fetch the video stream as we speak. It's going to fetch it. There it is, and look, it's my white uh, my whiteboard. It's it's my little grease board here. It's very blurry. Sorry about that. Notice it's a preview. Just go ahead and hit go live down here, and uh, you can uh, not worry about that. Let me go ahead and pull up my Facebook page and show you what we're looking at. Give me a moment here to pull up the Facebook page, and there it is. Here it is right here. It is a live stream of my whiteboard, kind of blurry, but that's what's happening. So notice that uh, it says live here, and as more people watch it, we'll give you a number of people watching, plus they can comment here. Please note that if this stream is interrupted because of an internet connection, uh, it may attempt to keep connecting for Facebook, or it might not, but once you shut off your stream, uh, that's it. You can't turn it back on and get it on. You would have to go through the process all over again. So that means if you want to have your services on your Facebook page every week, uh, you'll have to go through that same process of using your admin control panel and getting the stream key and all that good stuff. So I hope this helps. If you have questions, just send us an email, support at streamingchurch.tv. I'm Phil Thompson. Have a great day.